Okay, here's question 10 on the higher non-calculator paper. The first thing I recognize here is there's a star next to the question number. And what that means is there's marks for quality of written communication. What that means is they need me to present my answer clearly, to indicate exactly what's happening, exactly what I need to do, and to work through the answer in a systematic way. Okay, what I need to do is read through the question, think about what they're asking, and start working through it. C, D, E, F is a straight line. C, D, E, F is a straight line. A, B is parallel to C, F. So there's C, F. A, B is parallel to it. Um, D, E is equal to A, E. D to E is equal to A to E. Okay, so those two lines are equal. That's what these these little lines on them indicate. Work out the size of the angle marked X. So they want us to work out the size of the angle marked X. And you must give reasons for your answer. So they want us to work out the angle X. And at each stage, we need to indicate the reasons for the answer. Okay, well, one of the things I'm going to do straight away is because these two lines, AB and C, C, F, are parallel, so they actually told us that there, right? That there, you wouldn't be able to do this in an exam, but I'm just doing this to show that there forms what we sometimes call a Z angle, or the proper name for it is an alternate angle. So that means that that angle there is also 38 degrees. And the reason for that is because it's an alternate angle. So that angle there is angle A, E, D. Angle A, E, D is equal to 38 degrees. And the reason is it's an alternate angle. Well, alternate angles are equal. So those two are alternate and they are equal. Okay, I know that angle there, right? How can that help? Well, the triangle AED is an isosceles triangle. Triangle A E D. So that that now is describing the whole triangle is isosceles. Right, is an isosceles triangle. So that means that these two base angles are equal. So the base angles are equal, and the angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. So so far, I'm actually stating all the reasons and. The, the workings out as well. So because the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, that means that the two base angles, so the two base angles are going to be 180 take away 38. 180 take away 38 is 142 degrees. So those two base angles, they add up to 142 degrees. But because it's an isosceles triangle, the two base angles are equal. So that means each base angle is going to equal 142 divided by 2, which is 71 degrees. Okay, so triangle AED is isosceles. I'm going to go back there and put the reason, right? Um, so base angles are equal. Okay, so those two angles that I've indicated there in the question, both of them are equal. And in fact, both of them are going to be 71 degrees. 71 degrees. I've just marked them both in the diagram. Now, I'm very close to working out what X is because if that's 71 degrees, right, X I could work out because 
x and 71 the angle x and 71 are in a straight line so I'm gonna put that as well that angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees and so what that means is X so X is going to be 180 take away 71 and 180 take away 71 180 take away 70 is 110 110 take away 1 is 109 degrees so that means X is going to be 109 degrees now there's quite a lot of writing here and a bit of working out right at each stage I've put the reasons I've indicated clearly what they are and I've tried to explain what I'm doing as I work through it in a progressive and sort of logical way now make sure you're familiar with this make sure you, if you do a question like this you're able to get full marks and especially a question where there's quality of written communication marks right you need to explain what you're doing and state all the reasons